go so far as to say we were, you know, adhering to any kind of punk ethos because, you know, we signed to a major label. Uh, but then we so signed to we so signed to indie the Sex Pistols. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. Have we started? Because I'm not in character. Oh, Jesus. Oh, know. crap. <laughs> oh, no. Quick. Okay, okay. <laughs> Okay, cool. start over. All right, unfortunately. I yes, thought you, you were just going to give us an overview of what the interview would be about, but no, okay. No, oh, no, sorry, I think you have to sorry. stay in character the rest of the night, Super guy. Casual. For yeah, I think you're uh, be stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Keep that part in. <laughs> um, but I wouldn't say that we necessarily, you know, adhere to any kind of punk ethos. You know, we all were raised on punk rock. You know, that was what got me into music in the first and place. And that really informed. It did, yeah. Everything we did. I mean, we we tried to keep things on a pretty small scale. You know, we signed to a major label, but we didn't take a lot of money. We didn't take tour support and things like that that can get bands in a lot of trouble. You know, um, yeah, we were already pretty self sufficient by the time we right. did that. Yeah. Um, you know, we were pretty self confident in what we were doing. I think. You know, um, I think that helps. You know, if you don't know what you're doing and you're just like waiting for someone to tell you what to do, you know. But we kind of did what we did, and we, had we a continue. Pretty good idea of like the kind of music yeah. that we were into, yeah. and the kind of music we wanted to play. Yeah. And we didn't have any like uh, expectations. You know, it was all like we were just amazed that we got anywhere playing right. the music we were playing. Right. That you know, we were just like, beep, and just keep doing what we do. <laughs> you have to bleep that.
I'm not worried about like creating anything new. You know, that's never been a, a goal of mine. You know, um, I don't think it's been a goal of any of ours. You know, we try to like be creative amongst ourselves. Right. But it, you know, it doesn't have to change rock and roll's history. And definitely, since we got the cat in the band, I think mean, I think that's been like a real uh, source of inspiration. It ha- it has. Yeah, there's, yeah, I bring a sort of feline element to some of the right. to you know some of the stylings. A feline grace, if you will. Yeah, I mean, yeah. A, sl- a slinkiness. It's allowed us to yeah. explore different things for sure. Yeah. Oh. The problem is, is like we have a giant litter box that we have to clean in the uh, <laughs> sand room. It's- much has changed you know we've gotten older I mean things change just you know we've discovered more music that we like to you know uh, bring into the mix a little bit you know slightly not not majorly but uh, sneaky yeah sneak little, yeah, little yeah. bits and pieces in here and there yeah I don't know I mean do you think things have changed that much we've gotten tighter and faster like, <laughs> That happens at age. <laughs> Everybody gets a lot faster. We're like a, yeah, yeah, we're yeah. just like a machine at this point. Yeah. 